Hello everybody, welcome back. I uh, appreciate all of you stopping by today. I've got a little project for us to work on. Um, you know, I've just, just been trying to find little projects so that I don't get so overwhelmed. And this one is something I thought would be a lot of fun and it should require minimal supplies and in fact I would say this is a, a really nice project for stash busting um, using up your scraps. Um, this is going to be a little accordion journal and you're going to end up with a little tiny journal that's about two and a half by three inches. I just think it's a really cute size. It's not going to be too overwhelming. And in fact, you could just, um, you know, if you're very limited for time, just work on one page per day. Um, so I'm going to just have to do this in um, a few parts. It's probably, I'll probably condense this all into one video for you, but if it looks like it's going to run into very long, I'll have to break it up because I, my download speed here is just dreadful. Anything that gets around 20 minutes or longer, it's literally taking four or five hours. So we'll just see how it goes. But to get started, what we're going to do, you're going to need some papers and your basic supplies. Um, a scoring board would be helpful. Um, a paper cutter. You're going to need a, a file folder. That's how I used. Um, so we'll cut that out, and then I'll show you where to score. You're going to need some papers, glue, uh, and then depending on how elaborate you want to go, I intend actually to do some stitching in this. So... I may have to just uh, do that off camera and then just show you what I've done, but you'll get you'll you get the gist of it very quickly. Um, I would have liked to have had a project, a completed part project at the start, but because time is so limited for me, um, we're just going to do this together. I hope that's okay. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. You've got um, probably file folders in your stash. And if you don't, shame on you, because they are absolutely wonderful, um, very versatile things to work with. Uh, I've used them for many, many projects. And if you're interested, I've got a playlist on how to alter uh, file folders. In fact, I think I've got two, uh, which I don't know how that happened, but in my world, who knows. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> check those out. Okay, so this obviously has been cut down but let me just show you you know just to start this is what you would have and if you open up a file folder it should I, I would think they're pretty standard on size um, you're gonna end up with about 17 and a half inches when that's opened up I know you guys cannot see that on camera and I apologize for that but when this is open, that should be about 17 and a half. <clears throat> if it's not, you're going to have to adapt this, but I'm just going to have to go with what I've got. Um, so, so, that, so I'm saying that's 17 and a half. And so now <clears throat> just cut three inches off of it. I have got this left over because I've done various projects. So I am just going to take this one, what I've got left over, and trim this down to three inches and then that's going to leave just a little bit um, that I can just I'll just hang on to that in my scrap pile and maybe I can make use of that in another way so you've got you should have 17 and a half inches by three inches when you've cut that so <clears throat> at this point you want your scoreboard if you don't have it then just take a ruler if you've got one of the grid uh, boards you're good you can just score this at two and a half and if you're like me uh, I don't have the 12 by 12 so I'm just having to make sure that I've tucked that score line up there completely because if you don't it is going to throw things off so do be careful of that <clears throat> I 
Okay, so assuming you've done that all the way across, you're going to end up with something that looks like this. And don't worry, you you know, the original fold on that, um, don't worry about it. When these are covered with papers, you're not going to have any problem. That will The papers and the layering is going to reinforce your score line, so don't worry. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take each one of my blocks and I'm going to put a different background paper because I've got some new papers guys that I wanted to work with and you know I've totally blown my whole color scheme I told you guys I said I'm just gonna stick with greens and purples right until I saw these papers from cotton and twig on Etsy and I've got multiple packs here, guys, so don't even ask me um, which these came from. I just saw them. I fell in love with them, and I was like, okay, really loving these colors. Because I, I don't know, I'm really getting drawn now to the, um, the golds. And this is a fairly new thing, and I'm not too sure um, why that is. Maybe because in my mind for decorating the RV. I'm kind of going with turquoise and golds and like burnt oranges, which as you can see is exactly what these are. So that's all I can figure is, or maybe I'm wishing for autumn for cooler temperatures. Maybe subconsciously that's coming out in my design. Um, ignore this when my printer was getting low on ink. But I mean, they're just so different to what I would normally choose. But I just thought it was really fun and kind of refreshing to find. So look at those patterns. And I just thought, well, this is just perfect for this little project because um, it's going to give me a lot of different patterns that, that will coordinate well. Um, as I said, this is multiple packs. I haven't even printed out everything, but look at that one. <gasps> With the bees. Isn't that just beautiful? In fact, I've got a copy that a couple of times because I have I've started gathering I've decided I'm going to make myself a three signature journal um, but that's just a whole nother thing right <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna get distracted here so yeah yesterday I just spent the day uh, printing I went through all of my journal kits and because I've worked for so many ladies um, I've got hundreds of kits and I just spent the day yesterday saying you know what I'm going through it I'm going to print what I like so I've got it ready how ridiculous is that I know with limited space it was probably a very foolish thing to do but um, when I create I'm often inspired by just the pattern and so if I just look at something that tends to really start me on a path of oh I could do that and so I guess that's why I thought, well, that might be a very good way to spend today, you know, yesterday, um, is printing out patterns um, so that I can reach for them and that might, that kind of might help me. I don't know. I'm just like all over the place. <laughs> but anyways, back to this. These are the papers I'm going to be using. As I said, unfortunately, I don't know which kits I got, but I think I ended up buying about I don't know, four or five kits. Um, so you might want to check that her shop out. I think it's her. I don't even know who owns it, to be honest. But um, So yeah, that's what I'm going to use. So um, again, the, so what, what you, if you want to do it this way, and then let me show you an alternative, and you might choose to do this. I'm not going to. I originally took off a quarter of an inch thinking, oh, it'd be nice to show the um, file folder. And when I put it on there, I thought, no, I don't. And I'll tell you why. Um, I'm going to take my time on this. I'm going to build layers. So I think I want to have all of the, the file folder covered. And then that way I can come in and take off a quarter of an inch and add a contrasting pattern with pockets and tucks. Because we want this to be just... Well, you do what you want with it, but I'm probably going to add some little pockets and small elements. Um, what I'm going to try to do is just pull in some of the Tim Holtz stuff that I've been hoarding 
and see if I can make use of some of that uh, because I've got some of the little tiny little field notes things but I don't know until I actually get it all covered and start doing it maybe that won't even work but regardless there's always neutral ephemera that we can um, go back to and so that's what we're going to do. So I'm not going to have you guys sit here and watch me cover this because this is probably going to take me some time cutting that and, and covering it and then going back and trimming around. So, so that's when you see me again, that will all be done and we'll move on to hopefully starting to create some pockets and stitching or whatever we want to do with it. So I will be back. Okay guys, I am back and this is where I am with this. Um, another little tip is I would suggest that you add the paper before you've rounded those corners because that did end up presenting some problems for me trying to go back and trim. But if, if you guys are new, maybe you've never been shown this. Um, if you have some papers that are that are overhanging and you can't get it trimmed exact, this is just one of the sanding blocks that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm sure you can get them at Lowe's or Walmart. Um, if you take, like this is your paper here, you want to sand downwards. And what that will do is that will just take any extra little bits of... Um, of the paper that you couldn't maybe get exact because it is very difficult to trim exactly so that's what I did I I've just gone back now and I've kind of smoothed these edges I mean it's never going to be perfect but that's not what I'm aiming for um, perfection is not my thing <laughs> life is too short <laughs> so this is where we are and um, then if you pull that open, you can see it's just a really nice mix of papers. And then on the back, this is what we've got. So I will uh, be distressing around some of these um, edges. In fact, I'll go ahead and start doing a little bit of distressing. I thought we would work on the cover and then... So I'm just going to ink up around because this is going to be kind of a grungy little book. I want it to be a very, um, I guess, a very organic feel to it. And it just a, although, although these weren't my scrap papers, I'm, I'm going to be pulling from the scrap pile. So when I go to each page, I'm just going to distress around there. I don't like things overly grungy, but I actually think this project with the papers that I've chosen are going to lend themselves to it. See, there's just that little bit of paper in the, the sanding block. just does a beautiful job on that. Alright, so I'll just go through as I'm doing each page and probably ink it. Um, it just finishes it off really nicely. Alright, so let's just get on with this cover. Um, I'm kind of thinking In my mind, I was thinking it would be nice to layer this with some contrasting paper. I thought some shipping paper, and then I thought I would stamp an image on some coffee dyed paper. But we're going to have to see, because it's a very small area we're working in. I'm just going to have to see, but I wanted to pull some of the greens in, so... We know that that is two and a half. And I think I'm going to have this as my bottom layer. So let me just start off by just 
trimming some of this up here. workable piece because I don't want to cover up all of the bottom paper but I do think it would be a lot of fun to have multiple layers on this front and it's probably going to be very tricky I think that that could work. I tell you what, let's just go ahead and <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to clip this together. So I'm thinking that I want some of this showing because I like the greens. So Daisy is fast asleep on the bed today. She's had a couple of down days. She's been um, getting quite worried. She just seems to have more bad than good now. Um, so we're, we're just keeping an eye on her. But bless her heart, she's sound asleep in there on my bed. So sometimes I, I let her treat, you know, let her get up there because she seems happiest there now. Um, at night, I don't let her, but in the day, if I can keep an eye on her, I don't mind her being up. All right, so that's kind of where I'm at. Mm, don't know so much because the image I was thinking about for this front, I think what I'm going to have to do is kind of play around with how I can make this work. Because here's what I've got. <clears throat> and, the, and I may have to change my mind on this. This was a set of stamps I picked up the Dollar Tree, which I thought was pretty amazing for a dollar twenty-five with the little birds. And this is the one I was hoping to use, but we're gonna see if if it's doable. The image just may be too large for this. It's a very small book that we're making. This is uh, stays on Timber Brown for any of you who are wanting to know what I do. It, it's a, it does work slightly better than the um, my Stampin' Up! Espresso is getting very dried out and I have not had the chance to order any. But if you use stays on, make sure you get a cleaner. Because if you don't, you're going to come back and find those stamps will be warped. Um, that type of ink will damage these. So make sure that you clean them really well. Alright, so let me deal with this quickly and then we can move on and see what's even going to work here. Okay, so I was thinking that that would be a pretty, I don't know, they're okay. Those, those stamps are okay. I wouldn't say they're brilliant, but I guess you wouldn't expect them to be for $1.25. So let me just see if I can even make this um, work, because I just don't know if this is, I might have to go with something different. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm not really, really liking that one. It's a bit too wide. The hummingbird might actually work <clears throat> nicest. Let me just give this one a try. I think that one could fit. Actually, that one's got a bit more detail as well, so so that I think that is a better Let's see here, guys. Sorry, let me just clean this real quick. Okay, so let's see if I can tear this down now. Small enough, we'll have this on the cover. If not, I may have to rethink and go with butterflies or something. I mean, I've probably got a, uh, some sort of printed image, but I really wanted to use a stamped... But sometimes, you know, you have to just adapt, and uh, if it's not working, we may just have to go with something else. I don't know. I kind of like it. I feel like I'd like to have a bit more of this color coming through at the bottom, so I may have to just fiddle around with fitting that in. And then maybe get some... Um, cheesecloth and a few things oh I don't know or do I just want to go with a butterfly okay let me just cut out another a butterfly and then I'll come back and <clears throat> we'll make a decision then be right back okay guys all right so <laughs> I went and cut out a, a butterfly and I gotta say, as much as I thought this was the direction I was going in, I'm going to actually stick these to the side um, and use them at another time. The other day I did some stamping on some muslin. So I have pulled that out because I think that is the direction we're going to go in. Isn't it funny? You think, oh, I'm going to do this, and then you end up on something completely different. So, let's see what we've got here. I'm getting a lot of junk out here. All right. We're just going to go with this. I think I still like the idea of some of the shipping paper. And I want it to kind of hang off because I don't want this to be too perfect, if, if that makes sense. I do want some of these colors popping out. But then I thought some cheesecloth just to get more texture in there. So I'm thinking it would be kind of fun to have that hanging off and this just a little bit to the side and then maybe maybe another layer showing under there slightly. I like the idea of a bit more of this paper but I feel as though we need to stencil And I'm loving the stencil. It just adds a lot of uh, texture. So I'm just going to lightly I 
I think after this, guys, this is going to have to be part one, which means that this is going to probably take us some time to complete, but I'd rather do it this way. Because, as I said, it's kind of heating up in here, and i got to keep an eye on Daisy. Um, thank you all for your, your sweet comments. Um, we're okay. Um, we're being very, very careful about our electrolytes and drinking plenty, um, you know, of fluids, because I, I do understand that heat exhaustion and definitely heat strokes is very concerning. But Daisy stays in the air conditioning except for, you know, a quick trip out and then in the evening we'll take her out to do her little walks. But I would never leave her in this kind of heat. Oh. And we try to stay in it as much as we can. All right, so let's just have at it here. I am going to start with a little bit of cheeks cloth under. And I think we said we want a little bit of this hanging out. And then I'm going to put some of this layer. Let's get this bit. I think I'll even put a little bit more cheesecloth under here. Just lots of layering. grab some thread real quick. This is just some thread that I've had and I just really do like using it in place of my um, Irish linen thread. So I'm just going to put a little dollop there, give these a little twist. And then I think it would be nice to take a little something Let's see, I know I've got some other ones here. Just a second, let's see. I've got this. That's quite a nice one. I've got these. That's That would be pretty as well. I kind of like this one, though. I 
I think I'm going to go with that one. Oh, I don't know. It's very delicate. I think I think maybe that one. Okay, I mean, I'm just going to trim off a little bit more. Ugh, got to check. Okay, so that's how it's looking. I think we ought to have some kind of a little saying. So I'll pause this and let me find something, some kind of inspirational word, I think, across here. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I dug out some of the Tim Holtz. This is the small talk. <clears throat> and then our first one I opened up to was this use your wings. So that seemed perfect because it's small and I think that's going to work real well. So let's get this on here. I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back of it. just want to make sure that this does not come off. Okay, really like that, and now I just feel like this little area, I picked up a little bit of my lace, get this out of the way here, and I just sewed a little button to that, and I just feel like that needs something right there. Okay, loving that. <clears throat> really happy with how that covers come out. So you can see there's quite a bit of layering on that front, but it takes away from, you know, that being perfectly shaped, if if that makes sense. So, and this is kind of my thinking going through this little. Um, journal, accordion journal, is how fun to just do each little page with just, just taking this panel and just working on that, not thinking any, any further beyond than just that one. That's, that's where my head is at the moment, is just stepping back and, and doing smaller smaller projects. Now this I'm going to have to ink up. That's going to bug me. But I like the idea of this just, it just spreading out wherever it wants to go to. Um, if, if it hangs over on this, I mean obviously it can't hang over on this side or it won't close properly. But I'm happy with these because I think when it's actually folded up how pretty to have some things hanging out 
So there you go, guys. Uh, that's all we're going to be able to do today because it's getting pretty warm in here. And uh, I now need to just turn the AC on and keep it going just to, to manage the heat for us. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I'm curious to see, you know, in the comments what you think. If you think this is a project that you would try yourself, if you're going to uh, let me know. Are you going to do it along with me or are you just going to go ahead and 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 go with it now that you see the base of it. I'm very intrigued on, on how what you guys think about it. If you would, um, guys, I'd appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will consider subscribing. It um, means a lot to me, and I appreciate you all. All right, guys, take care, and I'll be back soon with another... Um, I don't know if this is going to be consecutive or I may stop and do another project, but we will come back and complete this together because we'll have 13 more panels to do. Um, but as I said, I might mix it up with some other projects, so I, I just don't know. <laughs> I never know what I'm doing until the, the morning or, you know, that I, I decide to film something. So. Anyways, guys, take care. I hope you all are enjoying the, what is left of our summer, and I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.